What's going on guys, this is Sam, and after the public release of iOS 11.2.1 today, Apple, out of the blue, released iOS 11.2.5 Beta 1 to developers. I did not misspeak, that was not a typo, I swear it's not clickbait this time, it's just a really random new piece of software with absolutely no context. And there's a lot of theories about why it was named iOS 11.2.5 instead of something like iOS 11.2.2 or 2.3 or 2.4. At this point we don't really know for sure, but there's a few theories that I want to talk about that made the most sense to me. Number one, iOS 11.2.5 is just a placeholder. This is probably the most likely, I saw this from a developer over on Twitter, uh, they suggested that this is a placeholder that this was actually what was supposed to be the iOS 11.2.1 beta, but because of the HomeKit flaw that needed to be patched, Apple had to move this back to 11.2.5 and rush out the new, like, second generation, quote-unquote, 11.2.1 firmware. Another theory that I came up with was maybe they're just planning to do a lot of bug fix updates between now and the time that iOS 11.2.5 will ship. So maybe next week we see iOS 11.2.2, two weeks later we see 11. 2.3 and then three or four weeks after today we see 11.2.4 and then we finally see the public release of iOS 11.2.5. That's sort of likely but at the same time I don't really know. That seems like a lot of work that Apple would be putting in throughout the next month or month and a half. And a third theory that is probably the least likely of the three is that iOS 11.2.5 was a typo and Apple really meant to say 11.2.2, but someone mistyped and accidentally sent this out for everyone. That seems highly unlikely, but then again, with the things that have been slipping through the cracks lately, this isn't too far out of reach, but it's probably not the case. Out of these three theories, the one that sounds the most realistic to me is definitely the first one where it's probably a placeholder for a future version of iOS, but once again, we don't really know for sure. Let's go ahead and actually jump into what's new in iOS 11.2.5 Beta 1. After installing it on my iPhone 10, I've been looking around the firmware to see if I could find any changes. The first thing that I felt like I noticed was some speed improvements. I saw a post on Reddit as well saying that the animations on even older iPhones felt really quick and felt really fast. I, I want to say that I'm experiencing that on the iPhone 10, but at the same time it could be a placebo effect. Maybe I'm just trying to imagine a change so I think it's faster even though it's exactly the same speed as something like iOS 11.2.1. But honestly, I do feel like it is a bit quicker even though the Geekbench doesn't really line up with that. When it comes to physical changes, one of my good friends and another tech YouTuber, Michael Billig, tweeted out this change. Inside of the music app, if you don't have any music playing now, you get this new not playing option at the bottom of the screen with some kind of made up or placed holder album artwork, but I think it looks pretty good. Kind of pointless, could be a bug at this point, but it is something new in iOS 11.2.5. Also, if you guys want to check out Mike's content, I'll leave his link down below. But besides those two changes, there's really nothing else happening with iOS 11.2.5 so far. As future releases come out, of course, they'll be posted here on the channel. And as the firmware starts to take more shape than just this initial random beta, I'm sure a lot of our questions about the version number and the lack of features and new features coming soon will be answered. We just don't know know a lot at this point. So if you enjoyed watching this video, it would help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below, subscribe for more videos on Apple in the future, and if you want to buy a t-shirt to help support the channel, head over to ifdatos.com slash merch, and I would really appreciate it. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.